Bachelor's Way, making secondhand chic. Hi. So this weekend we're planning a trip. We're gonna go see my sister-in-law, brother-in-law, and help them work on a project. Um, they can do the project by themselves, but sometimes they have what we all have, I guess, is DIY fear. It like, we're nervous to start something or to do something, and so it like paralyzes us and we just stop. I will be the first to admit that I have the exact same thing. Sometimes the task seems overwhelming or it seems like it's just huge. It's looming in front of me. You think, I don't know how to do that. So let me give you an example and let me tell you how you get over it. So in our basement we were working on, we wanted to put in a fireplace. And we didn't really have or want to spend the money it took to go get a brand new one. So we looked and looked and looked until we found a used one. We happened to find a used one at the restore, saving ton of money. But just the process of looking for it, I almost gave up. Because it was so hard to find one. And every time that we'd come on KSL or the online ads for used things, it would just be like gone like that before we could even go look at it. So we were about ready to decide to do an electric one, which was not my favorite, but we didn't know what else to do, and then we happened to find one. So once we tackled that, then the next thing we had was putting it in. And let me tell you, there's nothing online about putting in a fireplace, a gas fireplace, a venting. There's just not, because I'm sure people are afraid of the liability if your house blows up because you're working with gas. So I was just like, oh, this is never gonna work. And my husband, I said, how are we gonna do this? We don't know how to do this. And he said to me, how do you eat an elephant? And I just looked at him like, what? And he was like, how do you eat an elephant? And I, I don't know. And he said, you eat it one bite at a time. That's exactly how you tackle DIY projects. One bite at a time. You just do one thing at a time. And that's how we've accomplished so many things. You do the first step. Okay, this is where it's going to be. How are we going to get it in there? How are we going to mount it? How are we going to run this to it? And we had to run electrical for in our fireplace. Um, we had to run gas, a gas line. And we just went and figured it out, talked to people, blah, 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 until we got it all done. Same thing with the venting. And it's just a step-by-step -step process. And like in ours, the venting, we went to go, we had to go up and through um, out the wall, the outside wall, because you have to vent it. And lo and behold, if we didn't happen to run into a joist that was like six inches away from the outside wall. So it was hanging kind of over the outside wall also. So there was nothing we could do but go through it. But it's a joist that's supporting your house. So we researched, we got help from a contractor friend, and we figured it out. And in the long run, we were happy because we know that if somebody else would have installed it for us, we would have paid a lot more money and most likely they would just cut right to that joist and not care about it. So we know it's done right. That's a good thing about doing it yourself. And we did it. I mean, it's now installed and we are so excited to finish putting the front on it and be able to use it. But it can be scary and it can be daunting because it seems huge. So just, my tips are, first of all, you just have to break it down into small tips or small tips, break it down into small parts and tackle each part. Do the research, figure out how to do the first part, do it. Then move on to the next part until you're done. And the second tip is sometimes you just have to jump in and do it. You just have to say, so what if I mess it up? I'm going to learn. I'm going to do it. And you just do it. You just put your best foot forward and you try it the best you can. And sometimes it's a learning process but I have learned there's not very many things that you can't fix there are some times where you're just like it's done toasted through away but the majority of the time when we make mistakes I know shocker that we make mistakes um, just kidding but the majority of times when we make mistakes we can fix it we find a way to fix it so don't be afraid just do it and like I said it's a learning process it helps you be better the next time you gain knowledge and You'd be surprised what you can do if you just jump in and do it. So don't be afraid. And here's a third tip, I guess. Have someone come over, like your friend or someone say, here, give me a boost, let me do it. And sometimes that helps too, getting somebody to help you over that little hurdle of being afraid. So that's 